Today's video is brought to you by KiwiCo. More on them in a bit. No chocolate chips today. There comes a point every morning with a newborn up to like, up until I get them napping in their own bed, which is usually around six to eight months, where I feel like I just can't do anything and I'm standing there and Luke's doing the breakfast and I'm looking around at the mess and then I'm like, I gotta put on my wrap, put this baby in for a nap so I can have my arms back. Luke and the older two boys are out milking just did math with the older girls to go check in on chores. And then I need to bring in my boys for a reading lesson before they break and do their main schooling time. And I'll take the younger three. Look at how big this calf is. You are huge. We had to move up to the next halter size. Come here. Come here, Ginger. What do you got, Jack? Some milk? Oh, I give him the, the oh. squirts when I clean it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. dog food, and then whenever Jack Deck starts slowing down, I'll throw dog food, and then I'll run to it. Then I'll throw more, then I'll run it again, then again, then again. Cool. <laughs> That's easier than uncripping, isn't it? Yeah. She's really got to crouch these days. <laughs> I don't know if this is what you do with it, but... It is. It doesn't seem to be... It reminds me of my 4-H days. It doesn't seem to be doing what I was hoping it does. You need some show shame. You need a brush. Here, just make any difference on. Yeah, I guess the long hair I'll is the brahma. I like I'll smooth it out sometimes. All right, I am just taking you on a very typical fall slash winter Monday. I wanted to tell you a little bit about our laundry routine because I get asked about it and it's not super sophisticated. We just do laundry every day. 
because we have our laundry in our guest bathroom, if you will, or just, you know, our main bathroom on the main level, there isn't space to store laundry. And so we never do, I mean, anytime there's a little bit of a backup, like if we needed to wash sheets or blankets, we just put it right there in that bathtub. But I don't like to keep a lot of laundry in the bathtub because we obviously need it to take baths. And so we usually every day have some kind of sheet or towel load and some kind of cold lights and darks. We don't really sort that much. If we do have a sheet and towel load, we'll do a hot load with blankets and towels. So then after about two loads a day, we're usually caught up. We keep this really giant laundry basket. It's more like a bag in the laundry room at all times. And so then whenever Luke or me will go to get stuff out of the dryer or the kids, we put everything that stays downstairs, which all socks go in the sock bin in the mud room. Luke and my clothes go in our bedroom. Kitchen towels go in the kitchen. And then bath towels, for the most part, go in the downstairs bathroom. Usually if somebody needs one, they just get it from that bathroom. Um, I try to put a few in there for the kids to bring upstairs. So then what's left in the basket is all kids' clothes. And then each morning, so usually it's the next morning, typically, sometimes this does happen in the evening, the kids will go upstairs and put all of their laundry away in their own room. So the oldest four can do that. I don't really have Micah and Daniel doing that at this point. Although sometimes the older kids will sort their laundry out and then tell them to go put it in their drawer, which they can totally handle. I am not a stickler on folding. I'm not a stickler on really even the right drawers. It's just as long as it's in that child's drawer, I don't really care. Now sometimes the thing I am a stickler on is it being in the wrong spot. So if I find Micah's pants in Daniel's drawer, that does make me a little bit angry because that's when you can't find something. You need something and you can't find it. If I can find it, I really don't care how it's put away. And so it's a daily thing. We all help. We throw all of our laundry. I hear some families say, this child does their laundry, this person does theirs. We all throw ours in the exact same thing. We're not great at sorting. The only thing I will do is if there's a stain, like let's say somebody got blueberries all over their white shirt or gray, light gray shirt. Daniel has a really cute light gray shirt. He was covered in blueberries the other day from frozen blueberries. I just used OxyClean and it came perfectly clean. So I do pre-treat some things so it doesn't get totally ruined, but I am one to wash towels with t-shirts one thing that i won't do or at least i try not to do you know with a lot of hands in the laundry it doesn't always happen perfectly is i don't like like a dark jean or black leggings with towels because then the fuzzies get all over it so i do try to be aware of that so the basic premise of our laundry routine is laundry every day usually about two loads put away every day um sorting out like Downstairs stuff should never make its way upstairs. I'm very intentional about when it comes out of the dryer, separating all of that out so that only upstairs stuff goes upstairs and then the kids can put away all theirs. It's just like a constant thing, but I never honestly feel overwhelmed by laundry. It's never something that just feels like, ugh, more laundry. Because of the flow of it and we're just kind of always all doing it, it never feels like a huge task honestly. Same with dishes. I do dishes the exact same way. People ask like, how do you do it without a dishwasher? We just wash constantly. There's always a couple kids helping usually to dry or they'll wash them all by themselves. Like in the evening after dinner, Luke and I will take little kids upstairs and do bedtime. And the older kids do all the dishes. They clean, dry, put away. Because they don't sit around a while, I'm not super particular about like soap and super hot water. It's just like, get them clean, dry them, and then we're gonna reuse them on the next meal. So it's always just constantly going. We hardly ever have like a sink full of dishes. I would say this morning is kind of an exception, but we'll just keep them going. So after breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just rinse and repeat, and we'll use the same ones. There's never something sitting dirty very long. So nothing has a chance to get stuck on. So it's actually not, again, something that feels like a huge task to me. Now, as you can see though, I do cut corners with every task like that. I'm not super serious about it being done the perfectly right way, but it does always feel clean and done.
All right, I wanna take a moment to say thank you to today's video sponsor, KiwiCo. KiwiCo is monthly subscription boxes for all ages and nine different subscription lines that offer STEAM activities, which stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. They come with everything that each child or adult needs to complete the project. We especially like them as the days are getting shorter and it's getting colder outside and you need more things to do indoors that are educational. My kids absolutely love them. They get super excited whenever they come. The kids nine and older love working with the Tinker Crates. This month they made a couple of Christmas things like this light up Santa's workshop. Mom, we finished our motorcycle. Here, Eli. Sure. sure. They made a little car that races across the floor and they did this all themselves and I love it because a lot of times they work together on them. Use the white squeeze bulb to add one full squirt of water to the test tube. Several kids will get excited about one and work on it, and it takes them a really long time, so it keeps them busy, which is something that I love because they're busy, but yet they are learning something new. They're learning how to put something together that challenges them. Slide the tab on the motor mount into the slot in the arm piece. Here, slide it into the arm piece. Okay. I think so. They also make really great Christmas gifts because it's something that whenever they've forgotten all about Christmas and all the gifts that they open then, they'll get to appreciate all throughout the year. KiwiCo is offering my viewers 50% off their first box, hey, with my link, kiwico.com forward slash farmhouse on Boone 50. You know, I'm a, you know, I have a smoothie on me. Why do you have smoothie on you? Because I drink smoothie. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? I always so drink too raisins, much water. No, I don't want raisins in it. Or you put a little sugar? No, I don't want sugar. Or oh, yeah, I don't want sugar. Joanna, or Micah, that's too much, too much. Just a little sprinkling, okay? I'm mixing up. Uh, Let's make this keep you busy a little longer today. How much does it do? Mm. That's coconut. You already got me bowls of coconut and raisins. I want coconut. Danny, she already got you a bowl of raisins. Please, oh, That way you guys can really play for a while, right? I want coconut and chocolate and these. And some these. And then Mommy has some dough to make some dinner rolls. Might need to make a little extra since you guys took some of them. Some what? Extra so we have plenty for tonight. You always make dough for a cold time. I do that a lot, don't I? Yeah. If I don't keep you guys busy, you have dough for. What do you do? Have dough. Make for mess. Big mess. Big mess. Bigger mess than dough. I made myself, oops, an espresso, and it's Monday, so we're gonna be doing kind I'm of a lot of Mondays is sort of like fridge clean out for lunch, Micah. Hello. Which means like I have two pork chops thawed out, some chicken breasts, and we have a whole bunch of pesto because before the first frost came, I'm, we made up a whole bunch of pesto. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna cook the chicken breasts I have, make some angkorn pasta, toss that with pesto, and then maybe cook the pork chops and some potatoes. And there's gonna have to be, like some people are gonna eat one thing and some the other because I don't have enough of each to make enough, so. It's fridge clean out day, and then I also placed a grocery pickup order at Aldi and Walmart, so we'll be picking that up this evening to restock the refrigerator. Hiccups, got the hiccups. The baby's funny. The baby's funny.
gonna put some of this date-based barbecue sauce. I absolutely love the date lady. She actually sent me this huge baby gift. She sent me a box with my favorite date chocolate sauce, my date chili sauce I love, date caramel sauce, date sugar, date barbecue. It's probably the best baby gift. We got pesto pasta, chicken with herbs de Provence, pork chops with barbecue, and potatoes. All right, let's see here. Let's pick a template. You can do... So we want all that were uploaded in November of 2021. Afternoon is usually my blog work time. I try to make it to where, outside of like videoing the morning, which I guess you could count as work, I try to make it to where I can fit all of my blog work time in the two hours of afternoon nap. So the goal is always that I'm not cleaning up the kitchen. We do that as a group. We already did it um, as a family right after lunch. Then Luke usually takes Daniel upstairs to do his nap and then the boys go outside. Then I've tasked Ruth with making my family um, book. So I have gone back and forth on being good at this. I wish I was like my sister. She has one for every single year that she has been married and as they've added kids, she has a book every year. And I'm super jealous because I've missed lots of years along the way. Now, I do have obviously like whatever I've shared on my Instagram, my YouTube, I have lots of vlogs like this that I can look back on, which is super fun. But these books, um, I just grabbed my one from 2016. Unfortunately, I didn't do one for 2020, 2019. And I just decided a few days ago that I'm gonna do 2021. And so I didn't prepare, so I didn't do a good job of like saving photos on this certain folder so that I make sure I have everything. So I'm getting some photos from my sister. I'm gonna have her send me some. I went through my Canva, which is where I make my graphics for YouTube. So I have tons of like cute screenshots of the videos that I use to make thumbnails already saved in Canva. So like Johanna leading the calf and the kids jumping on the trampoline. And then I went through my Instagram. I did, like anytime I took professional type photos with my camera of the kids, I usually saved them in a folder called Kid Picks. So I have all of those. And I just got the other day, I got a little sentimental and I'm like, oh, I really wish I had a book. So I collected together all the photos that I could find. I ended up coming up with 70 photos. We still have Christmas and Thanksgiving that I can intentionally add. And I've given Ruth the task of making it because that's something that she'll enjoy doing. I really wish I would have always had one of these because we keep them all in a basket and they're so fun to look through. So I'm getting her on that job and hopefully we have enough photos to capture the year. I am gonna work on updating my course this afternoon. That is something that I've been focusing a lot on lately as we're coming to a new year. There are just a lot of parts of the course, my blogging course, if you're not familiar, I have a teaching people how to start their own blogging businesses and things constantly change. So I did a huge update six months ago and it's already getting to the point where there's just like things here and there that need to be updated. So that's what I'm gonna work on until about three o'clock. I got my sourdough rolls going behind me. Also gonna get a chicken going. A friend of mine gave me this oil sprayer. So I'm trying it out. It's kind of nice for chicken because instead of pouring it all over the chicken, it's just kind of, Corners in the bottom, I'm just gonna spray it and then add salt. Hey you. I don't know what to come up with some kind of side, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do here. But I got rolls and chicken. Just got back from all of our grocery pickups. So I normally just do an Aldi order, but lately I've been doing a Walmart one too because they have this organic cheese and Aldi does not. I also, as you know, like to order from Azure Standard, but 
I just haven't gotten out to that pickup lately. I have a ton of cream. Yes, we have a dairy cow, but this week is Thanksgiving. Yes, this video is coming out a little bit later than that, but that means that I'm gonna be using a ton of cream on my pumpkin pies and my sweet potato casserole, which means that I definitely will not have enough cream for all of that. I got some mozzarella blocks to make sourdough pizza. I always get this much butter. Again, with the calf not separated from the cow, we don't get enough cream to be making butter. I ordered organic raspberries from Walmart. Evidently they did not have organic because they gave me this substitution. We are completely out of sauerkraut. So I got, I believe five heads of cabbage. Oh yeah, two are over there. Apparently also all these did not have the organic blueberries I ordered, so they substitute these, which is just fine. We use all of this frozen fruit for smoothies. We also will freeze up bananas for smoothies. I'm using the oranges for my cranberry sauce. Onions are given. We have tons of meat in the freezer, but we're out of ground beef. So I got that. Super. Mostly out of sugar. We need it for our pumpkin pies this week and then other baking things as well. Potatoes. Oh, I was almost thinking, oh no, I only order one bag, but there's the other one. I definitely need more than one bag. Tons of cranberries, which by the end of this season, we'll get a bunch and freeze them. So we did last year, and I actually cooked some in September, which was amazing. But then I was totally out in October when I made them for my video. Pecans for our sweet potato casserole. I got some figs just because our chickens have slowed down their laying a lot. So I got four dozen eggs because we go through a lot of eggs. This is our haul for the week. Again, we have tons of milk from our cows. So we don't have to have that, but we should be set at least until next week. I forgot to mention, um, I got goat cheese for our goat cheese and date lady chili sauce sourdough pizzas. They're my absolute favorite. I also add jalapenos. The kids don't love them, but the adults do. And Brussels sprouts just because they're so good. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. Thank you for stopping by the farmhouse.